Time to unbox my favorite brake set by far. Yes, it's a big claim, but I have tried the SRAM and I have tried the Shimano. Even this one is not perfect, but man, it never let me down. Yes, I have been using this brake setup for a long time. I am convinced it's time to swap all of my brakes on all of my bikes to this setup. So what is this? This is the cheapest four pot brakes from Magura. And since I need a new pair for this new bike, let's unbox one. Now, before I actually open the box, you might ask pricing. Yes, it's the cheapest four pot Magura, but what is it in dollars? Sorry guys, I will not put the price on the screen because pricing structure at the current moment is still dynamic, unstable. So yeah, with that, I will not be putting the price on the screen. All right, enough talking. Do the unboxing already. Expect to see a double layer setup when you unbox your Magura MT5. Alright, so what's in the box? One, the brake setup, pre-bled from the factory. Some nuts and bolts, which we will explore later on. Merch pack, one in white, one in black, and a book. So yeah, if you're if you're still into reading, this is a good stuff, but yeah. Now, back to that brake setup, which is the most important, the meat and potatoes of this unboxing. So what makes this special? Like I said, it's ambidextrous. Evan can ride now. So I'm gonna flip the brake so it's New Zealand style because I'm an American brake layout. Boom, and just like that, it's a New Zealand brake setup. It's wrong now. No, it's right. <laughs> Two, it's actually light. And part of the reason is that it's made of what they call a carbo texture compound. It feels like plastic. It sounds like a Glock. This is the cheapest 4-pot Magura. You don't expect it to be the best. You'll find some flaws. One of which is the lack of two less reach adjust. And I think for some, it would be the length of this brake lever, which looks humongous. I mean, comparing it to an SLX, which I have here. I mean, look at that. This one is long. This one is short. But don't let that deter you if you would like to try this cheapest four pot from Magura because these are actually modifiable. But then since this is a budget conscious channel, you can just adjust your cockpit. The handlebar clamp supplied on this cheapest MT5 is black and is made of carbo texture. The clamp itself is modifiable. They have different colors and materials and they also have something that they call as shift mix. Shift mix is Magura's version of the problem solvers. It is designed to integrate both Shimano and SRAM shifters and sometimes even dropper post remotes. Yeah, there's nothing in there. It's pre-bled from the factory and it has a very decent hose length. This is still uncut and you don't have to worry if you're ordering online if it's front or rear because this is a long boy. It could go for a rear brake, it could go for a front brake. You just have to cut the hose. As long as you know how to cut hoses, it's fine because you have some extra spares in here. All right, now let's talk about the caliper. This is the brake caliper end of this brake system. I mean, look at it. Does it, does it not look like the happiest brake caliper of a bicycle you'll ever unbox? It looks like an Afro guy with big wide eyes trying to smile. But kidding aside, what's inside? So, we have this pad spreaders that has a lot of function aside from just spreading the pads more to that later on magura offers different brake pad compounds for different bike riding usages but this cheapest option has this brake pad and it's not bad and yes these rings right here are actually modifiable so let's say you want to hop up your bike. You can use brake pad spreader, poke it in, 
and push it out. And you can change it to different colors which you can buy separately. All right guys, so what do we have here? Two bolts, washers, a pair of needles, olives. That my friend is a bung for the hose. So when you thread it, it will not collect dust. Now, these are the Magura pad spacers. Don't throw them away because this serves a lot of function. The first use is a standard pad spacer while the pad is in. See that notch there in the middle? That is a pad thickness measurement device. So if your pad is less than that, that means you need to start looking for a brand new pad. So let's say we want to put a needle inside this hose. You can also use it to stabilize your hose when you're inserting the needle. And last but not the least, you can use it as a blade block. Yes, I have said a while ago that I have used different braking systems in the past. Prior to the Magura setup, I was happy with my Shimano SLX. But the latest generation SLX and XTs are prone for brake lever snappage, if that's the term. And the way I ride bikes and the way I crash, I don't want to be that guy typing on Facebook Marketplace, do you guys have a spare brake lever? Yeah, SRAM! Comparing it to SRAM, I mean, seriously, it's, it's not even a question. Yeah, it works. Let's go to the depot. I don't like these turkey noises. One thing I love about SRAM is that it's ambidextrous, but honestly, SRAMs don't work as well as the Shimano system. Now, should you buy this thing? Let's ask a devout Shimano user. Hello everyone, we're going on to Diggler Downhill. Um, I'm on Miguel's bike. And so, uh, the Shimano, I mean not Shimano. Alrighty, so uh, the Magura MT5 brakes. This is a review. Um, yeah, we're on Diggler Downhill, which is at Mount Hutt Bike Park. Pretty steep. So, first impressions, what I would say. I'm comparing this with my Shimano XT brakes. Um, actually pretty powerful if I don't screw up this line um, initial bite and power delivery um, the Shimano I would say for like outright power uh, would win they um, have more bite initially on um, these have like a softer more modulative leave the feel but still lots of power heat build up i haven't noticed any so evan's observations are on the spot and for a suboptimal setup i think magura mt5 did well i'm saying that because at the time this video was shot i was still using my old 203 millimeter shimano rotors Using an all Magura setup including the disc rotors ensures optimal braking performance and a 5-year leak-proof guarantee or so they say. And that ends today's upload. Don't forget, if you like what you saw, just don't forget to give us anything. Like, comment, or subscribe. Peace!